It is day seven, and I said I would start showing you my day seven hair. Before we go throwing blame at the products though, as I've mentioned in previous videos, in order to get my health back on track, up my vitamin D balances, I have been taking daily walks. It has daily been like 90 degrees and sunny and humid. I wasn't covering my head like I normally would because I'm just not used to walking outside anymore. I don't know how to have my hair outside because I went natural just a couple of weeks, maybe three or four weeks at most before I went into lockdown. And so I was inside for like a year. I don't know how to combat frizz and puff. I would liken these results to like if I was to work out with my hair just out. When you work out and when you walk in the hot sun for a good 45 minutes to an hour, your scalp sweats, biology. My hair was shrinking out because when my hair meets water, it shrinks. So when I work out, I secure my hair in some way and then I wait for it to dry before I take out the the thing securing my hair so it doesn't get shrunken. I didn't tie my hair down when I was walking, so it, it did this. So this happened on probably like day four or day five. That being said though, and just in case you think that this will be my first time touching my hair without my gloves on, my hair still feels so soft, so pillowy soft. So yeah, it looks like this, yes. And I don't know if this is what people mean when they say they like big hair. This is a little bit bigger than I personally enjoy, but my hair feels, I wish you could feel my hair right now. It's possible it feels softer than it normally does on day seven, but whatever it is, the products held up. I don't think that the gel, I don't have the products with me right now. I don't think it offers a heavy hold, but I think if I had stayed inside or if it hadn't been so humid, I would still have some pretty good definition. If you look in here, Okay, maybe that's not a good example. There are some ones that just held up. I think the ones that were less, you know, in the face of the elements, but yes, my hair has gotten big. It's gotten frizzy. I'm either going to try to come up with ways to eliminate the frizz, or I'm just gonna use this as um, a comparative example. Whenever I use a product, let's see what happens to it throughout the week. All things remaining the same, like it being hot and humid, me walking without any kind of protection. Protection though, I do protect my hair. <laughs> Because so many products offer antioxidant properties, before I go out in the sun, because UV rays will negatively affect your hair by producing free radicals and all of that, I have been spraying my hair with the Tybe Naturals Hair and Scalp Tonic, I think it is, because it has in antioxidant properties and it's just kind of protection. So it's very likely that also has aided in creating all of this puff. I am gonna be using a clay mask because I have opportunity to since I'm not reviewing an entire line, including wash day products. So I'm gonna be using the Classy Hair Clay Mask. I have done a comparison against Bentonite Clay, I prefer it. I'm gonna be mixing it with my apple cider, and then I'll be using the Soltanicals Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp Therapy Mask. Uh, and then I'll be back with the styling products for my week two braid out. I found my wide tooth comb, by the way. It was in Layla's uh, toy bin. But this is my day seven hair. It feels wonderful but I have not tried to help maintain the curl definition. And something just fell out of my hair. It means it's really time to go clean it, so I'll be back. Hi, it's Amanda, welcome to my channel. This will be my second week reviewing Fab Hair International in my B.O.B. 123 series. That's black owned brands only, three wash day reviews, three styles, three company, and or founder facts. Fact one. Fabher International started out as a salon, but in 2019, the owner started formulating products on her own to better suit sensitive scalps and who wanted to stay away from a whole bunch of chemical ingredients. Fact two, Tamari is gonna be coming live on my YouTube channel this coming Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard, so be sure to tune in for that. And fact three, the salon did close down in 2020 because of the pandemic, but it has since reopened. So if you're in the Englewood, California area, resource for you. All right, I just finished working out with my classy hair clay mask in my hair. I'm gonna go and rinse this out. I am going to apply my deep conditioner, deep condition, and then I'll be back for styling. I will let you know if anything new to say on my Soltanical deep conditioner experience. But otherwise, check out my week one. Oof. <laughs> the vinegar just slapped me up the nose. Oof. Okay, what was I saying? Oh my God, so strong. Check my week one review for my thoughts on the Soul's Anticles. 
uh, product. I gotta go. I'm having a different experience this week versus last week, namely with the Sultanicals Hibiscus Healer Healthy Scalp Therapy Mask. I don't know. When I was putting it on, it felt just as good as it did last week. I was really excited. And then when I went to go rinse it out, probably 45 minutes later, having applied heat, my hair felt like a little bit, I don't want to say dry, but it didn't feel all that moisturized. I don't know what that was because the only difference this week versus last week is that I fell asleep under my hooded dryer. Now it feels okay. I have the leave-in conditioner in my hair. I will say it's a little bit hard for me to use a leave-in spray, and I've mentioned this before. I have a lot of hair, and it's hard to know whether you are able to get every strand when you're using a spray. That being said, though, my hair feels better now than it did when I was rinsing out the Soul Tanicals product. So the leave-in conditioner did add back in some moisture to my hair. Let's start with the Twist and Define Custard again. This guy's back in action. Didn't really do much. <laughs> My hair is already detangled. Oh, and because I did a clay mask earlier today, I just want to mention that I have not detangled my hair because I didn't detangle it when I was putting in the clay mask. I just kind of put it in. I didn't do really any finger detangling because I don't finger detangle dry hair. I spritzed it a little bit. I probably did like one or two finger detangles, but I mean, it was just water. It didn't have any slip, so I didn't really do much else. And then I rinsed out the clay mask. I did a little bit of finger detangling as I did that. And then I did a little bit of finger detangling with the deep conditioner, but I didn't even use the comb then. Ah, that feels good. I really like this product. I really like this Twist and Define Custard. It feels really good going on. It has really good slip. And it's, I think it's just an overall really good product. Good amount in the bottle too. Now I'm going to go in at the top only, and this is just to smooth out my roots with my fine tooth because I think I've done enough finger detangling. Okay. I don't expect to, nor do I feel the need to go much farther than that. Beautiful Curls Flaxseed and Aloe Vera Curl Defining Gel. Again, I feel like this is probably a light to medium hold. Although maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was, really was just the sun exposure and the sweat. This product feels good layering on as well. Love it. I was thinking about doing my two-toed method to make this a little bit smaller because I feel like I'm gonna have an issue coiling the end here. But I am instead gonna go all the way through to the bottom, coil what I can, and then like my other method that I do, I'm just going to pin it to my roots and hope that as it sets, it will keep the coil. Okay, so I'm gonna go down as far as I can, which is why I do take time to try to get three even sections. My hair is more around the same length at this point, which is nice. Okay. Ugh. Okay, I don't think I can do any more. Rope twist the bottom and comb out a little bit. The coil looks good, but it's not gonna stay. So I am going to pin that right up there. I'm not even gonna let go first because it's gonna unravel a lot. Is my suspicion, maybe I'm wrong, but I'll never know. <laughs> I feel like this is a hairstyle in itself. <laughs> my hair feels a lot better than it did Again, post rinsing out the Sultanical Deep Conditioner. And I guess we'll just wait and see how my hair looks when it's all done. All right, it's two days later and time to take these out. It is really cold where I am. And as you can see, it's raining and miserable in the background. I like to finish my videos when there's a little bit of sunlight outside. Okay, my hair smells good. I think it's the, um, again, I don't have them with me, the flaxseed, the last product that I put in, the, the gel. It has a little bit of a cast that I can feel but it'll all depend on what happens when I unravel these braids. I'm gonna take out the first one on camera and then I'll come back later when the rest are out. This is my Melanin Hair Care Multi-Use Pure Oil Blend. Feeling a cast, it feels a little bit drier like I have a gel in it, but it really depends on what's inside. <laughs> it 
feels a lot more moisturized within the hair versus what was on the outside. So that is great. Got some nice elongation. I think that's from my starter braid. I'm gonna go take out the rest and I'll be right back. So here are my pre-separation results. And I'm thinking to see if it'll make a difference. I'm not really gonna do any separating. When I say any, I know I'm not gonna be able to stop myself. I'm probably gonna do a little bit, but I'm not gonna separate to the degree that I normally do. And I'm gonna see if that helps to maintain the definition throughout the week. My ends got a little bit frizzed as I was taking out the braids. That always happens when I take out braids. If there's like a very obvious separation I can do, I'm gonna do it. But outside of that, I think I'm just gonna leave these results as is and see what happens throughout the week. I did do two flat braids or cornrows in the front. I have been doing that recently in the front because I find that it's a little bit easier to maintain definition when I do them that way. So I did leave in two of the, it looks pretty shiny. I did leave in two or three like stitches, if you can call it, to help weigh down the hair a little bit. So yeah, I mean, I think this actually looks pretty good. My hair feels really, really good. That cast that I was feeling was not like in the internal hairs in the braid. So it does feel soft. It feels smooth. It has the same, oh, my scissors with me. It has the same shine that it had last week. It smells pretty good. I am gonna pick a little bit at the root so it's not so flat. My hair smells really good. I don't usually smell my hair, which is, you know, so it's very uh, striking right now. I will be back next week with my week three review. I still don't actually know what I'm gonna do in terms of styling. So that'll be an interesting one. And just like what happened with my Eco Slay Live, Tamari is going to be joining me on my channel this coming Saturday. And my hair will be in whatever wild card style I decided upon. I wish I could do it when I do like a braid out or a twist out, but this is the second time that just scheduling happened like that. So it's probably gonna be in a puff during that, <laughs> during that interview. Let me know if you are interested in these products based on these couple of reviews. As I mentioned, this is a new brand. I think she started in like 2019, but come to the live with any questions that you may have. Follow me on Instagram at uptight curls underscore by underscore Amanda. I will be putting reminders on there. And also just, you know, <laughs> follow me. I do have my Facebook group. I think it's called uptight curls community group. It's new. I don't remember what it's called. I'll link, it, I'll link it in the description box below. But be sure to join us over there. I am looking forward to building that out into just like a general community space. So yeah, uh, join us. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my content and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Like, comment, and share. And I will talk to you in my next one. Thanks and have a good one.